Welcome to the course of optimization using Excel. My name is Shomitro and I will be with you throughout this course as your instructor. I have designed this course specifically for the students of business management either in bachelor's or in postgraduate. That also includes students of operation research or management science. Having said that, the course is equally helpful for the practitioners and professionals of various industry and the course is made in such a way that it is not domain specific or industry specific. So it is generic in nature and uh, anyone from any industry can get help out of this course and can refer to it. Finally, this course is also equally helpful to the managers and leaders of the industry. So let us see how we are trying to go about with this course. So first question that comes in mind is if we are talking about optimization, then what are we going to optimize? What is there for optimization? So in order to illustrate this point, let us take the take example of life itself life our life take the example of our life itself so in our lives we must be having some goal or some questions in our mind that we need to answer like what to do or where to go what is the aim of life what will you do at the end like that so some kind of objective or goal must be there in every one of us, lives of every one of us. So that is the first point. Next is, having said that, we must be making various choices throughout the life, like in every moment of life, we are making decisions. So how best you make decisions basically define how good your life or how successful your life is. So that is on another point, making decisions. Finally, you or I perhaps cannot make any decisions, like there is always a limit or always something is there which holds you back. Unlike it is a human mind, like someone has said that there is, there are no constraints for the human mind, but otherwise in life, there are always constraint or decisions that we can make are always constrained by certain things. So constraints are there. So this is how the life is. So as you can know, as you know that life is suffering and so is the optimization. And therefore, drawing this analogy, we can say that the opt an optimization problem will also have some kind of objective decision and constraints. In case of optimization problems, we call these objectives as objective function, decisions as the decision variables, and these constraints are also there. So what are they, how they are defined, or how to deal with these things? All, all things we will study in this course, but this is just an introduction, and I'm trying to making a direct analogy with uh, a very generic approach, taking life. So that's it. And if you see the classification of the problems we discussed under optimization, there are basically two main classification. One is your single objective, another is your multi-objective. Single objective means we have only one objective in our mind. And multi-objective is we may have more than one objectives, each having some specific priorities. Or the priorities may be equal also. Then under single objective, you can have linear objective or linear constraint and non-linear objective or constraint that will define the nature of the problem and we call them as linear program or non-linear program. Under non-linear also, you have smooth 
and non-smooth type of problems. And under the linear programming, we have different categories of problems like blending, production planning, transportation, assignment, network flow, set covering, knapsack, and so on. These are not limited. We may discuss more than this also, depending on how the interest grows. So almost this is it. And under multi-objective models, we have uh, various types of models, but we will try to discuss goal programming here. So we will confine our um, uh, modules on goal programming only in case of multi-objective decision making. So that's it. Uh, let us go to the first topic, which is the introduction to linear programming using Excel. And uh, let me tell you another thing why I am preferring Excel. There are basically two reasons. One is in the universities and colleges, when they teach uh, linear programming or any optimization in general, they use Excel at first, at first attempt at least they use Excel. So that is the most popular tool in the universities and colleges. And not only that, uh, the Excel or Microsoft Excel or any software of Microsoft is also very prevalent and uh, uh, it has a very high amount of usage in industries as well. We can see in any industry, any office, any corporate setup, you use the Excel or Microsoft tools. So it is very popular to use Excel. So uh, having said that, there are other tools also, like for example, Lingo is there, R programming tool is there, Python is there, um, or other tools like AMPL and uh, Cplex. And there are so many tools that can be used for optimization, linear programming, non-linear programming. That we can we can discuss here, but first of all, we will learn this how to use Excel and how to implement these problems in Excel. Then, if interest grows from your side, then we will see if we can cover one or two tools and in addition to Excel. So that's it for the introduction. So let us focus to the next module which is the introduction to linear programming.